Yo, what the f Yo, hear me? Yo, what the fuck is up with y'all, man? We here live on another stream, if you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? Your boy been in a lab, labbing up some new tunes and new music and shit. So be on the lookout for some new light skin shit dropping at y'all soon. Sooner than later. We rocking the Reigns merch. Make sure you guys go if you guys want to see how this is looking. All right, check out this fire ass design. And it is mine. All right. You know what I'm saying? We got the. Got the I'm trying to model it where you guys can see it. Hold on, ready? Y'all see that shit? That shit fire, boy. That shit fire, boy. Make sure y'all go get one of them motherfucking hoodies. There's t shirts and hats and all that other shit on there, too. I gotta actually pull this out of here. Look at that. The poor headset, man. I've been holding on to this headset because it has sentimental value, bro. Anyways, hope you guys are all doing good tonight, man. Uh, we're going to be doing a plethora of things. I have a couple things I want to talk about. You guys, uh, might we might be getting a new virtual fighter. Um, I think that's very interesting. Um, where you can buy the hoodie from? Just type in exclamation point merch and, excuse me, in chat. No? Is that not worth? Okay. Yes, there we go. Uh, it's supposed to say rainsbrand.com. That's wrong, that's why. Sorry. Anyways, um, so gonna talk about Street Fighter Six now. We can't talk about that because I'm a Capcom partner. We can't talk about any of their practices like that. I will not be giving my opinion on Capcom. Don't ask. I will not be giving my opinion on, on that. You know what I'm saying? I will not be giving my opinion on that. We will not be talking about that. <laughs> All right, we're not doing that shit. <laughs> See, the motherfucking Capcom creators, I want to keep that shit. Next subject. All right, next subject. Some new Virtual Fighter shit might be on the horizon. Let's talk about that. All right. We got some Tekken 8. God damn, Steve Fox is fucking ugly in this game, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn. Steve Fox is looking rough. We got Virtual Fighter 3 TB online. That's pretty sick. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like Virtual Fighter 3 TB. I'm just going to be honest with you. The game is fucking weird. I don't like the fact that the evade button is a tied. I'm sorry. That the evade mechanic is tied to a button in Virtual Fighter uh, 3 TB. The evade button is a fucking. The evade mechanic is a button. Who the fuck wants to deal with some shit like that? I'm most certainly not going to do that. Well, I fucking barely play that game. But shout out to Virtual Fighter 3 TB um, online getting announced. That's pretty fucking awesome. Um, I want to talk about uh, the Tekken 8 shit. So let's get into that first. Yeah. Yeah, we got some new magic happening, by the way, guys. Y'all know nothing about this. You know what the song is about. Bro. Fuck it. See you in my dreams, see you when I'm up. I don't even know if she gives a fuck. That's all y'all hearing right now, but just know that we cooking up some new projects. Make sure y'all stay on the look for the Spotify. We got some new music coming. I produced it here with my my little uh my little MacBook and my little my little makeshift studio. So shout outs to that. A lot of people on uh TikTok and, and uh Instagram asking for new music, man. If you guys didn't know, we got uh, 90,000 followers almost on Instagram, so that's fucking awesome. The Instagram brand is growing. We're about to hit 90k. Uh, we're getting brand like deals and shit, and I'm able to do little commercials and little light skin shit to, you know, it's cool. Anyways, so I want to talk about this. We're gonna do Tekken A first. All right, we're gonna do Tekken A first. Damn, I'm fucking hungry. Fuck. See the thing about you that caught my eye is the same thing that makes me cheat. Kind of hard to explain. All right. Let's do this, all right? 
We got some Steve Fox action coming live at us. And I don't even know what you want to say, but every time I'm out, it's a hell of a day. You don't even know if you want to stay, but every time I'm here, it's like it's a wait. I'll see you when I'm out. See you when I'm out, yo. See you when I'm out. See you when I'm out, yo. See you when I'm out, yo. All right, here we go. Steve fucking Fox, man. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. Steve is looking rough right now. Um, Steve is looking rough. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, yo, who subscribed? You said no idea who I is, but the way check just hit and I had to spread the love. Yo, thank you for the gifted sub, man. Um, I appreciate that, my brother. Um, yeah, I don't know. You just came into my stream and just dropped off a subscription, man. I appreciate that, yo. Shout out to my boy, Anybody Somehow. That's an interesting name. Right there. Yo, I appreciate that. I feel like if I can encourage people to want to subscribe to my stream and they don't know me, that's pretty cool. Thank you, man. I appreciate that, bro. Made my day today. All right. Uh, gay. All right, we're gonna do this Steve Fox shit. All right, um, before I do that, guys, I'm hungry, man. I gotta go get something to eat. My stomach is like, I'm starving, bro. Man. I'm hungry, guys. I had to go on kitchen and get some snacks, man. Fuck, I'm hungry. Man. Yo, um... Anybody somehow. Thanks, bro. I appreciate you, man. Man, Diana was sick. I went to Japan and shot music videos for Diana. Like, that shit is legendary, boy. All right. I'm sorry, guys. I'm munching your ear and shit. And I left my water in the kitchen, so I'm sorry, guys. Am I a Steve player? No. I'll tell you the characters I play in a second. Okay, so if we're being honest here, guys, and I'm just calling it like like it is before we start the Steve uh, the Steve trailer because I'm hungry. I gotta eat real quick. I'm sorry, y'all. A little movie time, right? I mean, a little story time. Because I'm fucking hungry. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm hungry as fuck. <laughs> I'm fucking starving. Quite frankly. All right, so story time. My best character is Lars. Um, There's just a thing in every fighting game where we all kind of have to accept what it is. In my head, I'm a Raven player. In my head, you know, I'm a Raven player. I'm really a Lars player. I'm going to probably end up using Lars and Raven um, in Tekken 8. I'm on the fence about Dragon All. I like Dragon All. I like him. I had to have three characters in that game. It's going to be Lars, it's going to be Raven, it's going to be Dragon All. DOA. Ayate, 
Hayabusa, and Ayn. Those are my three characters. Consistently over time. I played a little Mila in DOA 5. I was pretty fucking nasty. I might have been the best Mila in DOA 5. Something like that. <laughs> but, I really am a Hayate, Hayabusa, and Ayn player. In Virtual Fighter, I play Kage and John. I don't have a third character in that game. Because if I'm being honest with you guys, there's like nine characters. I'm not interested in the other ones. I was fucking with Lao Chan. Lao Chan is sick as fuck. I just forgot how to use him. But Lao Chan is difficult. Yo, he's got a lot of shit going on. Um, Lao Chan has a lot of shit going on. So if I had to pick a third in that game, it would be Lao. Soul Calibur, if I'm being honest, I don't play the game enough. I like the way the game works. In my lifetime of like trying to learn fighters, it's never really been a thing to try to learn Soul Calibur 4. I'm sorry, Soul Calibur. On a deep level, I picked up... You guys remember I shot Soul Calibur 6. Um, and I actually own every... I can go show you guys. Like, I own every single Soul Calibur game. Like, I have, I have all of them. I own every Soul Calibur game. So, I like Soul Calibur. But, I'm just not, it's just not my favorite game, I guess you could say. Um, it's just not my favorite. But, I let, it's a 3D fighting game, and I do know how to play it. Like, do I know how to play Soul Calibur? Yes. Am I great at it? No. But, it's the weaker of the four. But, I'm Mitsurugi, um, Grow. And, if I had to pick a third, it would be Taki, but I don't know how to use her, but... Realistically, I should be a Taki player. I just don't know what it is about her. She doesn't play like any other ninja in any other game. I don't like all the flipping and flopping shit all the fucking time. Like, all the whoo! Like, I just, I don't fucking like that shit. Um, I'd be inclined to say that I use just Grow and, and, and Mr. Rugi and Soul Calibur, but we'll see. We'll see what happens with that game. I don't even have mains in that game. I don't know. Lao Chan is sick, though. All right, uh, let's slide. Let's slide. All right. Yo, Mur Murlo, what up, man? How you doing, brother? Yo, Edco, what up, man? Remote Mur Murlo? Murlot? What am I fucking your name up? Giving a shout out to everybody in the stream. Thank y'all for tuning in with us tonight. Metro, Retro Ming, Edco, Merlot, Merlo. We got Omega in here. We got. Gotta go up a little bit. Sorry if I miss you guys. Interpol. Anybody somehow. We got Dio Scott in the house. Fly God. What's going on, my brother? Ryan Damon. What's good, my brother? Wakazi. I know you guys are patiently waiting. Omega Vanguard. What up, man? I already said what's up to you, I think. Uh, yeah, Jacob Kennedy, what up, man? Sorry if I miss you. Appreciate you guys for coming through tonight, man. We chilling. All right, we're going to talk about Steve. Angel Rivera, what's good, my brother? Yo, Steve is looking real fucking ugly in this game, man. Now, apparently, there's some kind of backstory um, with Steve and why he looks like this. Like, the reason why Ken was all busted up. Apparently, he found out Nina was his mom or some shit like that. I think that I'm correct. I could be fucking wrong. Um... He's going through something, I guess. It's either that or the developers really made him look like that. I'm hoping for the latter. He's ugly as fuck. And then on top of that, you know what's bad when Lars's face looks better than... And this is me just looking at the character from an aesthetic design, obviously, right? Like, why does he look like he fucking ate every sandwich in a fucking in sight, bro? You know, and then you... He's still doing all his same fucking moves, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like bro is... Is looking weak out here. Like, he's still back wanting you in the head. Like, there's no excuse. I don't know. I feel like he should be a little fatter in the body, too. Or, like, be slow or something. Like, he can't just be back wanting me in my mouth, bro. And looking like he ate a fucking house in, this, in the process. Like, you're going to lose some speed there. Then they're like, oh, Steve looks like that because he's British. That's the reason why he looks like that. And it's like, if that's the argument we're using, yeah, I can see that. I can see where he would look a little more British. But... Why the fuck did you wait until Tekken 8 to do that? Why the fuck did you say, yo, we're going to do this now? You know what I'm saying? Like, you could have been fucking made that happen, bro. 
Like, that, leave shit like that alone at this point, dude. The fuck is with his head, man? The fuck? Alright, I'm gonna drink the rest of my protein. I took you guys' advice and I, I made my webcam closer so y'all can see me better, I guess. Tekken 8! Like, bro, it's mad husky, like, like, throwing hands, bro, like. How is his head so fat? There's no fucking way. And then the portrait. See, this is why I'm not buying it. Like, yo, y'all Tekken people gotta stop making stuff up on the fucking internet. Can y'all please stop making stuff up now? I don't know why y'all have to go on the internet and make up stuff. Can we stop making stuff up? Why does his head look completely normal in the render? His head's not fat here. His head's fat in the game. His head, he's fucking got a fat head, okay? <laughs> like, <laughs> can we stop trying to create backstories and shit? Yeah, well, I heard that Steve, you know, he went through a depression. Like, was it after he took the fucking picture? <laughs> like, New challenge. he's just ugly. Like, look at his, what the fuck is, something's going on. Hey, yo, go armor. You're just in time, bro. Bro, what the fuck is this? Bro. Hello? What the fuck is this? There's no way. There's no way. Bro. Yo, thank you so much, go army. I appreciate that, man. Thank you for the raid, brother. Bro, you gotta explain this to me, man. Hey, yo, go, go army. You gotta explain this to me, my brother. You gotta explain why they did this. That bro's still fast. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Like, am I the only one saying that this character sounds and looks dumb? Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Like, what the fuck was that? Am I the only one that thinks he looks and sounds dumb? I got people on Twitter saying, oh, he sounds fine. No, the fuck he doesn't. No, he does not. Don't let them put this out like this. You motherfucking Tekken stands or why this motherfucker's head's going to look like this when <laughs> comes out, man. Like, if we don't stop them now, he's going to... All they need is 60% of y'all to say this is okay. Harada's lecking at the tweets. It's so... Let's go. I do like... Nah, I do got to say. Now, Steve Fox is a sick-ass character, though. Steve Fox, you see the little... Oh boy, you said yo, bro. Steve is sick. I never use him. I think it's time for him to kick a little bit. Like he don't, you know. I know he has the hop kick, but I think it's time for Steve to like start fucking kicking. You know what I'm saying? Throw a couple kick, some knees in there. Like it's play. He can play dirty, bro. Like throw a fucking knee in there or something. I know you can step on your toe and shit, but that's a nerf. I think that's a nerf, right? Am I tripping? I could be wrong. He's he's way too far away to catch that. And by the he, he's gonna have Oki right here, but you don't get a combo off this into wall carry anymore. Like that's good damage, that's guaranteed. It's like um It's like uh Jin standing four, his magic four, how he gets the one plus two now, I believe it is, into the fucking um into the fucking heat hot dash, whatever the fuck it is. That's a nerf though. I think that's a big ass nerf. I like that a lot. I like the glass breaking thing right there. That was fucking cool. That shit was kind of cool. It looks a little 2D though. They can... Y'all could... Is that trailer, guys, or what? Is that for trailer purposes that they did that? Like the screen broke? Or is that going to be in the game? Because that glass was really 2D. I'm not being a stickler here, but this game looks good. They, this is a lazy attempt at a character, I think, man. A classic character. Like, he sounds bad in my opinion. He looks fucking terrible. You know what I'm saying? 
You get what I'm saying? Like, why does that look like I could have got on Photoshop and drew that? Does that look really bad or is it the video? Am I on fucking 480p? Let me try to put it on a higher quality and see if the glass gets better. That looks really bad. Maybe we can't see it because we're not in front of it, but I'm not being a stickler, but the game looks amazing. So because it looks as good as it does and it feels as good as it does and all that, I want them to make sure that this, like, really looks amazing. Like, I don't know. I feel like that looks like shit, but I'm just, hopefully that gets adjusted because I think that looks, that's a bad effect, but it's just not, it was poorly executed. It was a good idea, but I don't know. I, I'm being a stickler right now. I know. Every detail counts in fighting games, guys. There's not a lot of features here. Bink, bink. Uh-huh. Steve is sick. I like Steve, man. Steve is sick. I, I like Steve Fox. He just punch his foot. You definitely win. Oh, and he did a fucking. Did he just do a fucking a, a just frame skyrocket too? When it comes to who talks the most, you definitely win. That voiceover is ass. Like I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Why does Horang sound like he's in the battle and he's in the ring? Why did Steve sound like he took a fucking water bottle and just started talking into it? What the fuck quality was that? The voice is great, but why is the quality like that? When it comes to who talks the most. He doesn't sound like he's in a ring. Are y'all not hit man? Y'all love Tekken. Y'all I love Tekken. I don't know. Bro, the voice, literally, the voice quality directly just flopped, like. Perfect mix. When it comes to who talks the most, you definitely win. And can we just talk about why he looks, why does he look like my fucking, why does he look like somebody's aunt, bro? Like, why does he look like somebody's auntie, man? What the fuck is wrong with his face? Yo, they're disrespecting their own character, man. Like, I don't get out. Yo, Harada, man, what the fuck did you... How did you authorize this, man? Like, bro, Harada literally sat there, bro, with his fucking legs crossed and was like... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait till I show you what the fuck he did. <laughs> All right, ready? Ready? Bro, Harada literally fucking sat there, bro, and he had his phone in his hand when he did it. Bro, Rod was literally fucking sitting there, bro. When this shit popped up on, on... You know, like, before they released the trailer for the last time, they do a big watch party. Fucking Michael Murray. Fucking Harada. Itagaki. They all fucking sat at the fucking table and watched this trailer for the last time before they hit post. Before this hit Twitter. That motherfucker Harada said... When they hit send... There's no way he looked at this, bro. There's no way. Like, bro, why the fuck does he look like somebody's auntie at the barbecue? That was sick, though. I gotta give it to him. All that shit, the, the, the fucking skyrocket in the cutscene was hot. I'm not gonna lie. Like, come on, bro. Are you fucking kidding me? Bro is literally fucking, like, bro, like... Bro... That shit is fire, bro. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. No, no, no. I don't get it. Is that not... Is that not back one? It just counter hit. I don't get it. Is there a double counter hit? Am I tripping? Was he in heat or something? I don't get it. Is that not back one? I don't know Steve that well. That might not be back one. I know he's got a bunch of counter. But he got a combo this time. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't I don't get it. I'm I'm fucking freaking the fuck out of here, guys. I saw this shit. Let's go. 
Oh, that's not back one. That's not back one. That's why. But that used to give you a combo, right? This used to give you a combo before. Am I tripping? He got to pick you up from this. I don't. I'm not. I'm not a Steve player, but I'm just remember all the time he hits me. Like I've been hit by Steve a lot, so like I, I just remember getting juggled off of this. <clears throat> Yo, Tattles, what's up? Are y'all following me? What? Is anyone gonna? There's a lot of Tekken heads in here. I'm hoping somebody kind of answers. Like, this move in Tekken 7, didn't that give him a combo? I thought this move gave him a combo. That move right there, the little mm, and then the pickup. Yeah, down forward 2. Doesn't he get a combo off of down forward 2 in Tekken 7, or am I fucking tripping? Okay, that's a nerf. That's a nerf, okay. That's the nerf, not back one. Back one is still doing back one. Ooh, he gets a hard wall spread off of that, too. That should cause a crumple, man. There's no way you let him run up after that. That is a Kazuya power punch. And it forced him. You see how, like, you know moves like that will usually send directly to the wall? That shit shot him slightly up. They gave him air recovery off. I mean, they gave him, him air time off of this. Look at this. He's all the way down here. And got picked up on the wall. That shit has pickup on it. Wow. Ew. Fah! Y'all hear that sound? Ew. That was fucking sick. That was fucking sick. I gotta watch that again. <laughs> that was fucking sick. Dude. I don't wanna see that every time it hits me. Whoa, 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 bro is clinching me now? That is gonna be annoying to deal with, brother. That's, that, I just, like, I'm sure, like, once he clinches, he, clin he clinches you, right? Another window starts for where he can make a decision here, whether he does one, two, one plus two, probably, right? I could be wrong. After the clinch, like, if you don't get the throw break window on the two break, he can probably put you in, like, a three-way mix-up or a two-way mix-up. Usually, that's what happens. And he hit, him with a, he hit him with a two right there, right? He clinched him up and hit him with two, right? Hit him with two, so that's a two option, probably. Hmm. And imagine trying to press right there, guys. Counter hit throw. Counter hit throw. You're clinched up, brother. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 dangerous. That's dangerous. And your negative frames after that hit you. Your negative frames after this hit you. You fuck around and let him go in the stance after that. I, Steve is plus right there, right? The little boop, and then you can't do shit. Oh, oh, it gave him the it gave him the big it gave him the thing. That's a that's guaranteed. Is it just cause he sidestepped? Wait, throw was beat sidestep? How do you get the how do you get the counter hit animation there? He didn't press a button. I just want to say that that's one of the sickest things in this game. There has never been a 3D fighting game that had some shit that looked like this, in my opinion. Like the way it, like the way it bounces, and then the character flips, and then it gives you the. It sounds like a fucking missile's taken off. That's what it looks like. That's the sickest shit in this game. That shit is so sick. This shit right here. That little. With the fucking sparks and shit? Oh, bro, that shit is fucking... Heat. Literally. I love it. Now this is what I call fun. You know, one thing I do want to say that's kind of unrelated to Tekken. Soul Cal the new Soul Calibur that comes out... This is sick. The new Soul Calibur... That's a knockout! 
the new Soul Calibur game that comes out is going to be gorgeous. Historically, Soul Calibur always looks better than Tekken, and I think it's just because of the way they have the art style or the way they that design the game to do I don't know. So the new Soul Calibur, if this looks this great, dude, the new Soul Calibur is going to look fucking amazing. Soul Calibur is a beautiful fucking game. Can you imagine? There's another one coming out. I mean, it's going it's to come out. There's going to be another Soul Calibur game for sure. It's got to. As long as this game, as long as Tekken is a part of the same fucking building that fucking Soul Calibur is in, there's going to be another Soul Calibur. Can't really say the same fucking thing about DOA. You know what I mean? They did us dirty, so. They said they were giving up other six. Who said that? Who said that? Y'all can believe that shit if y'all want to, yo. Y'all gotta stop letting these these developers fool y'all, man. Of course they're gonna do that. They're gonna come back and say, does your soul still burn? And everyone's going to retweet and say, like, hell yeah, my soul still burns. And there's going to be a little fucking nightmare sword next to everybody's fucking tweet that pops up and auto-populates. Y'all got to stop falling for this shit, man. How else are you going to get us with the, does your soul still burn? And then the game's going to come out. And then six people are going to play it again. Sonic Fox is going to play it, and everyone's going to play it. Everybody in the mom's going to play it and make videos for for about four or five months tops, and everyone's going to go back to Street Fighter and back to Tekken 8. <laughs> Come on now. doesn't matter how great a new DOA game is going to be. Guess what's going to happen? It doesn't matter if the new DOA game is as good as DOA 5, and it had a fucking Virtua Fighter crossover. A one, a, one of the best fucking crossovers in the history of fighting games, I want to add, because the systems are fucking identical. And people barely played the fucking game. It's not really about making a good version of a game. Some games are just kind of fucked, I think. Y'all really think... Come on now, let me ask y'all. Let, let's keep it a buck here. Let's keep it a buck here. Y'all really think if a new Virtual Fighter game comes out, the motherfuckers are going to play that shit for longer than six months? Come on, man. Like, y'all... Nah. Nah. Don't let Maximilian dude and all these motherfuckers that make videos when news drops for the games and they play it for one second fool you. They're not no one's no one's gonna play the game, okay? I'm gonna play the game. You're gonna play the game. Everyone else is gonna be a fucking Street Fighter and fucking Mortal Kombat getting updated every fucking two seconds. You know what I'm saying? People are into that shit. You're into a game where you can't even fucking learn how to play your character for longer than a week without them fucking changing it. You know, Tekken, Tekken's a great franchise. You can't take nothing away from that, you know. But it's like, yeah. Bro, it doesn't matter how good they would have made Ultimate Showdown. I hope you guys realize that. Like, support it or not. These, like, guys, you have to realize, when a game like Virtual Fighter doesn't do well, you know what people do? They say, oh, well, Virtual Fighter didn't do well because the developers didn't do this and that. But even if they put all the fucking DLC in the game, something that we always complain about, there wouldn't be 10 more people playing because there's a new fucking costume in the game, guys. Come on, like... <clears throat> Of course, we can blame it on the shit that they could have did. Oh, well, I'd be playing if my special, my special fucking blanket I could tie around my character's neck was in the game. No. No, you wouldn't be. <laughs> it doesn't matter how many haircuts you have. It doesn't matter how many fucking boots you can put on your character. It's not, it's not what makes a game good. That's not, and it's not going to make people fucking buy and play it. It's not their favorite games. You guys got to understand, there's there's favorite games in the FGC. Because there's favorite games in the FGC, you're always going to be competing, you know? Always. Look at games like Fighting EX Layer. Fighting EX Layer is fucking, is uh is is the game I just played. Fucking um, Street Fighter Alpha. Um, fucking games. You guys know which one I'm talking about, the 3D one. Like... I don't think I've seen anyone even make a video or even do a combo in that game in years. Okay, I'm not saying no one's playing it. I'm not disrespecting the Fighting Yes Later community. I'm sure there's one there. It's probably just about as big as the DOA community or even bigger. But Street Fighter EX, yes. So it's like, how does a game like that that has this big, giant, great cult following that people swear they love, oh man, you're not a real one if you don't know Street Fighter EX. And it's like, you don't even fucking play Fighting Yes Later though. I'm making a true statement here. People like what they like because it's obscure and shit, but motherfuckers ain't really real fighting game players, bro. 
People fucking play the same two fucking games. Motherfuckers all play Mortal Kombat. Motherfuckers all play Tekken. Motherfuckers all play Street Fighter. You know what I mean? Then you got other games where there's a decent player base. You know, you got Guilty Gear. Guilty Gear does well. You know what I'm saying? Grand Blue is getting a new game, I believe. And I'll be honest with you. I don't even know how the player base is for that game. Like, there's only, like, four fucking games that everybody plays. You know what I mean? And there's so many good fighting games. It's mad fucking annoying. So back to my point about DOA 5. It's like, that game had the fucking greatest crossover I've ever seen for a 3D fighting game. Almost. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, um, fucking, it's a shame to see... That, like, you can have games with, like, great potential and great ideas, like, and they'll never fucking get no shine, man. You know? Just because their best fucking friend doesn't play it, you know? Because you know what would happen if Maximilian Dude would make, would play Virtual Fighter on stream once a day for two hours? That would increase the player base of the game. Not saying that that's his, you know, his job to do that or anything like that. I'm saying, like... <clears throat> if somebody really cared, they would put the effort towards it. I've been playing Virtual Fighter consistently since it came out. I just streamed it, you know what I mean? Because I, I like the game. I actually support the game. You know what I'm saying? You know? I'm just keeping it 100 here. People love Virtual Fighter. They, they send fucking little special cards out. Maximilian Dude got a special card. I haven't seen the guy talk about the game at all. <clears throat> and this is something that's been around in... Gaming for years is the business thing. I get it. You're never going to send it to like a top VF player over like a top content creator. But still, it's not right though. Like it's like you got people to play Virtual Fighter every single day, all day, hosting tournaments and events and this shit. It's like how are you going to just like, it's like a, it's like a slap in their fucking face. Like, and it's a, it's unfortunately, it's a necessary slap. You know, you got to give it to Max over anybody. He's the fucking face of the FGC. <clears throat> Doesn't make it right. No. You know what I'm saying? Because is he going to play the game for longer than a month? No. You know what I'm saying? But it's just... There's so many things that's fucked up. <clears throat> Alright. Um, I want to get to this next thing. Um, There was another thing I wanted to do. We did a Steve thing. Um, I want to do... I want to do... I want to do... Um, fuck. Right, I have another idea for my stream, guys. So I want to watch a video on the upcoming amazing 12 fighting games of 2024. This should be good. These are the top fighting games for 2024 that are upcoming, guys. All right, let's check it out. Let's see what's coming out. Let's see what's coming out. Strap in as we prepare to explore the most anticipated fighting video games coming our way in 20 Little AI voice. Under Night in Birth 2 Size Celles, developed by French Bread, presents a fresh chapter in the Hollow Knight saga with redesigned visuals. The game boasts rollback netcode for improved online matches, new moves, battle systems, and enhanced pixel graphics. Players can enjoy updated stages, remade character themes, re-recorded voice lines, and 24 characters. Okay, got some, got some under night. Sarugi, Kaguya, and Kuan. I've always liked this game. I'll never fucking play it, though. Those 2D anime games and shit. Them instant air dashes. Nah, y'all can have it. I ain't breaking my fucking wrist, man. Games are sick to my boy Sosik Nash fan. Shout out to my boy Sosik Nash fan. Legendary fighting game player in 3D and 2D. Fellow DOA player. That man's nasty at anime games. Guilty Gear is great at uh, a Yo, y'all know who's really talented at fighting games that y'all might not know? Little Majin can play like every fighting game. All of them. The only one he actually doesn't play is DOA, but he's good at everything. Man, I really fucked my shoulder up at this. Tekken 8, no, developed and published by Bandai Namco Entertainment, ushers in a new era with redesigned character visuals, highly detailed models, and high fidelity okay. graphics. The game awesome. boasts 32 awesome. fighters, beautiful environments, and destructible stages. Oh, guys. The Mishima and Kazama saga continues, delving into the father and son conflict, starting six months after the previous game's events. The new KOF, system Guilty Gear, Mortal Kombat, he's good at NetherRealm games. Tactics. Soul Calibur, Arcade Quest. A single player mode. Street Fighter, he can play Street Fighter as well. Mazin's good in, in everything, bro. I'm not even joking. 
He's played some random shit, dude. Yo, Alpha Zulu, what up, man? Alright, guys, well, I don't want to see this. I do like this, though. That was so sick. Ah, uh, what game is coming out? What's another fighting game? Yo, fourth trend, what up, brother? Jujutsu Kaisen Cursed Clash. Jujutsu Kaisen Cursed Clash. Okay, what's this? Harnessing unique. Got a new little fighting game coming out. What's this? What's this gonna be? Cursed spirits. Players can cover up, create distinct combinations tailored to their play style, and strengthen their abilities through intense fights. Expect dynamic domain expansions and collaborative combat strategies. You're so open. You're so open. What are we talking about again? Yeah, you missed about an hour, bro. You missed the Tekken. We did Tekken 8 Steve reaction, brother. We did Tekken 8 Steve reaction, and we did, um... Uh, we had to talk about... We got to do the VF stuff, too, guys. We're going to talk about the VF thing. Right now, we're watching the top 10 great, amazing, upcoming fighting games of 2024. This looks kind of cool. There's no fucking fighting game, though. Hey, yo, Vision446, thanks for the follow, my brother. Welcome to the Reigns fam. The fuck is up, man? Welcome to the stream, my dude. Appreciate it, man. You guys just now tuning in, I am a fighting game content creator. I play mostly 3Ds, Tekken, DOA, and VF being my main. A little bit of Soul Calibur. I do a lot of retro fighting game stuff as well. I've been in the FTC for over 10 years. I've been going to tournaments since 2013. Um, I'm most notably, you know, in Dead or Alive. Um, I've placed in multiple tournaments. Multiple majors. I've been to EVO for DOA. Commentated the World Championship in 2019. If you guys want, you can watch my entire commentary history. Um, on you, uh, you can actually type in exclamation point. Um, commentary, which I actually didn't make that command yet. Sorry, guys, but I'm going to make it. What the fuck is this thing? But if you guys want to see the commentary, just go on my, just type in exclamation point YouTube and go on there and go to my playlist. And there's a playlist that says commentary. It's all of my commentary from 2016 to 2020. My last event in 2020. So. You guys want to see my commentary for everything? Dynamic fighting arenas. Each chess piece represents a fighting game archetype. And oh, this is kind of cool. Attack is critical. Oh, shit. Transition what the fuck is this? This is kind of cool. Okay. A game that's been played. Checkmate Showdown combines the strategic depth of chess with the thrill of fighting games. In this online multiplayer, Players engage in tactical battles that transition from the chessboard to dynamic fighting arenas. Each chess piece represents a fighting game archetype. In choosing when and how to There's a breaker? Arenas. Each chess piece represents Yo. This is gonna some smart motherfuckers are gonna play this. Yo, you know who would like this game? And I only know that Speed Kicks plays chess because I've I've watched his stream. Like I got I remember I got like Raided into his stream one time and I woke up and this guy was playing fucking chess, bro. He's gonna play the somebody make sure he knows about this. I don't have any I don't follow him, but yeah, he would really like this game, bro. This is interesting. It's a fighting game and choosing with chess. how to attack is critical. Yo, this is actually kinda sick. That's a dive kick. There's a breaker that was a dive kick into a crawl. Presents a fighting game archetype. And choosing when and how to Dive kick? Cross up? Attack is critical. Juggle? Tag assists and attacker advantages tie the chess and fighting components seamlessly. Built Yo, this game is gonna be hard as fuck. Fighting game enthusiasts in mind. It promises easy to learn mechanics but challenging mastery. Whether you're a chess expert or a fighting pro, adaptability is key in this cerebral combat arena. Oh, the Zangief! Yo! Bro, is this fucking Zangief? Mastery. Whether you're a chess expert or a fighting pro, adaptability is key in this cerebral combat arena. Bro. <laughs> Yo. Roll back. They got roll back before. I gotta get up in on this, yo. That's my main. That's my main character. Deadly fight. Blending. 
Y'all did all that and just did the voiceover yourself, though. Like, bro, you could have called me or something, bro. Like, I did this shit for free. You got what it takes to defeat the one true king. Deadly Fight blends 90s arcade nostalgia with modern graphics. Players choose from a variety. Deadly Fight? I know you did not just put a mobile game in here, you motherfucker. What it takes to bro, you stuck a mobile game in here, bro, called Deadly Fight? I'm a... Deadly Fight. No way you put a mobile game called Deadly Fight. Blends 90s arcade nostalgia. You see my ass, bro. Players choose from a variety of fighters, each boasting unique styles like karate or ninja. Modes include championship. Is that Paul? Like, quick fight. And on is that Paul mixed with Heihachi? Like, what is going on here? Online multiplayer with a dynamic roster, 3D environments, and captivating soundtracks. It promises intense combat experiences. You should have did something out on him. He was beating your ass. That's my main. Let's go. All I needed to do was see my main character. I'm, I'm in there, bro. That's all I needed. I already found my main. What's wrong with his fucking mouth? <laughs> Why does his fucking mouth look like that, man? What's wrong with his fucking mouth? Is that supposed to be Andrew Tate, bro? Bro, that's Andrew Tate. There's no way they modeled him fucking... Bro, they modeled a fucking fighting game character after Andrew T. His his fucking trunks say OFC. Why is his mouth open like that? This is disturbing. His teeth are like this fucking long, guys. Look at his mouth. Why is it open and why is why are his teeth so long? Oh. oh nah, these animations are nah, this ain't a real game. Nah, bro, some of these animations are stolen. Oh my god, bro, there's so many stolen animations right there. Oh no, no. no. Oh wow, they have little glowing powers and shit. No, nah, they didn't just sneak that in there. No, they didn't just sneak that in there. Rivals 2 continues the saga set in the Ether universe where civilizations harness elemental powers. Returning characters like Zetterburn and Rano, alongside newcomer Fleet, engage in conflicts with enhanced gameplay features like shields, ledges, grabs. Yeah, I'm not for nothing. Moves, this game is very visual, visually appealing. The game significantly builds on character move sets, ensuring deeper. The game is very visually appealing. It includes tactical elements like poison traps and aerial maneuvers for strategic depth and varied play styles. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm skipping this shit though. I've had enough. In this city, characters. Diesel Legacy, the Brazen Age, unfolds in Newly Bertice, a metropolis powered by the monopolistic Falcor. This game is pretty cool. Hieronymus Fraser. Fraser. We're Streets of Rage vibes. Plans an ascent right? to humanity's elite at any cost. In this city, characters including gangsters and autos fight for change we got some streets of rage vibes going on here a two versus two cooperative fight system with strategic lane based movements and real match technology yo why is his arm hanging like that what the fuck do you think you are charlie nash why the fuck is his arm lane hanging like that nah i need to change that he doesn't even look good his arm is is hanging stupidly stupidly bro even if it's a dead arm it's hanging dumb technology for smoother online play 
The game I don't know why you would be fucking in front of him hanging there, bro. And interactive training and replay modes. It looks fun as fuck. Yo, I gotta get this. Is this out yet? Hey, yo, Monica, what's up, bro? Yo, look, here's your character, Ruby. Look, bro. <laughs> here you go. Corrupts thrusts players into an epic. Yo, this game is not out yet, bro. Bro, this game has been in development for like thirteen years, bro. Holy fuck! It started off as like an arena game where you're running around fighting, and now it's like a. Bro, this game is never gonna come out, bro. Versus fate, where wielding immense powers and mastering combos can lead to salvation or destruction. Bro, this game is Set never gonna come out, guys. This been coming out for 13 years, a roster man. of unique fighters, each Never with their own out. complex backstories. Engage in gravity-defying combat, shape the universe's destiny, and climb the leaderboards across various game modes. Developed in Unreal Engine, it boasts polished, distinct character designs and a diverse fighter selection. This is a Marvel shit right here. The game is never coming out. The game is never coming out. Universe into I ain't gonna lie though, this shit looks kinda hot though. <laughs> I hope it fucking does. This is kinda fire, yo. Wait, hold up. This shit kinda sick. Alright, this shit kinda. It, do, it looks good compared to what I saw. Guys, if I show y'all where this game came from, you wouldn't believe it. Since its predecessor, Dragon Ball Z. Let's show y'all where that game came from, you wouldn't believe it. Surprises fans with a return, as revealed in the Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour event, showcasing an evolution. The teaser highlights modern in-engine footage featuring Goku in Super Saiyan Blue form. Sorry, I'm snacking, guys. I'm hungry. Fuck. Thank y'all for watching, by the way, tonight. We chilling. You guys are probably chilling in the bed. Some of y'all probably working, chilling, vibing. We chilling tonight. Hope life is good for all y'all and shit. Hope life is fitting y'all well. I got a new song coming out. We're gonna look out for that within the next month. Knights of the Deep is an exhilarating online game where players. I'm gonna be honest with you, whatever the fuck this shit is, I'm not watching this bullshit. Whatever the fuck this shit is, I'm gonna fuck this shit off. I don't know what the fuck this is, but I'm not watching this fucking shit. You, you shouldn't even put this in here, motherfucker. Fucking crap. Come on, man. Project L revealed at Evo 20. I just want to also state, guys, for the record. I'm not excited about this game. Um, I'm not a boomer. I'm not trying to be that guy. Um, I am just not. Ex I'm not at all excited about this game. I'm not. I'm not at all. It's accessible yet deep gameplay. Simplified controls enable easy pickup and play. Not at all happy about. I'm not at all excited about this game. Featuring familiar League of Legends characters like Darius and Yasuo. Each is reimagined with powerful characters. Oh, they got parries in this man. Like Darius and Yasuo. Each is reimagined with powerful character specific abilities. The game standout tag system promotes a dynamic two verse two format, infusing excitement. In hey, listen, I'm not saying the game looks bad at all. Like, it's not that. The game does not look bad. I'm just sick of playing these fucking games. It looks good. I'm not even going to hold you. I'm just not going to go out of my way to, 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 to play this. Maybe I'll try it, guys. I'm not going to lie. We'll probably try it, right? You know me. I'm not going to play it for longer than a month, probably. I can admit it. People can't admit that. I'm going to admit it. I'm not going to play it longer than that, but we'll see. I don't know. It looks all right, but... UI improvements. It's not like Tekken 8. Like, yo, Tekken 8 is coming out. This is like... Games release. I like the wall bounce mechanic. Cross ups? That character right there is sick. Now, I don't know. That motherfucker might make me play that shit. 
I might have to play that shit because of that motherfucker right there, man. Barbarian is a 3D anime-inspired sword fighting game, emphasizing dynamic battles, from intense one-on-one -on -one duels to group melees. The gameplay seamlessly merges tactical fighting skills with diverse combat scenarios. Characters include Maxi, a mercenary with a royal resemblance, Shia Khan, a formidable war clan leader, Goth, a questioning berserker hunted by his clan, and Fur, a huntress torn between revenge and duty. Yeah, I don't know. That motherfucker right there might make me fucking play this game, bro. That character right there I just saw, that little fucking samurai looking motherfucker. You know, that shit got me written all over it right there. Boy, that's already my main character. Thanks for watching our roundup of 2024's all right. most awake. All right, we're going to move on to the last subject of the stream, guys. Um, I want to talk about this. Um, hope you guys are doing well. I want to talk about this Maximilian dude got a little postcard thingy in the mail from Sega that says, New Era, New Energy. Make sure to tune in to the Game Awards on December 7th, Sega. And then Curious Joji, I don't know who this is, got got one of these Man, things as well. Just... I don't know what it is. Um, I don't know who else got one or if anyone else got one, but they're the only two people I've seen with them. There's no telling what this is at all. Like, there's literally no telling what this is. There's speculation that it could be a new Virtual Fighter game or some kind of a new IP, a new fighting IP or some kind of new IP. It's something fucking new. They put new twice. There's speculation it's a new VF game because there was another screenshot that got posted with VF5 uh, Ultimate Showdown that had the same exact font. It had the same exact font. Like, it was just a different color. There's speculation that it's Virtual Fighter. Who knows? I'd love it to be Virtual Fighter. You know what I'm saying? Listen, it says new era, new energy. I'm not, I'm not thinking that's Sonic, guys. I don't know why. Because, listen, you want to know why I don't think this is Sonic? So Maximilian Dude is a content creator, right? I'm going to be eating ice cream, guys. I'm, this is my cheat day. I've been waiting for the cheat day. Maximilian Dude, content creator, right? He makes content for multiple games and genres. What is Maximilian Dude most notable for? I want to fucking guess. Fighting games. Why the fuck with Sega? Send this to him. Of all people. If it's not fighting game related. Don't do this, you dead ass. What are you talking about? S8? What are you talking about, bro? Do what? What are you talking about? I'm confused, brother. What do you mean? I gotta know what you mean, because I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, so I get what you're saying. So I think if I was speculating myself, if I was speculating myself, I would say that it's a new virtual fighter game or a new fighting game or something like that. Cause I just can't see why they would send it to Maximilian dude. And I haven't seen anybody else get one. So I don't know. If it was Sonic, I just don't get why he was sending it to him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Am I making sense here? Okay. Coolio. I said we got done the first part of the stream. We made it successfully. We're going to finish up the second part of the stream and play some Tekken 7 against my will. Against my fucking will. Against all, everything that's yeah. in me, guys. I'm playing this fucking game. Know what the song is about. Got a little preview to my new song dropping. It's just this little, it's a different type of vibe. See you in my dreams, see you when I'm up. I don't even know if she gives a fuck. Don't believe in love, I'm testing my luck. This is gonna be so crazy. The song is fire. It's it's so fire that I can't even tell you it's not fire. That's not fire. Alright, so I'm playing this fucking game against my will, man. I'm playing Tekken 7 against my will because I swear for the life of me, man. When I play Tekken 7, 80% of the time, I can't figure out why people are doing the shit they're doing. You know?
The way people play this fucking game, bro, it makes me want to fucking chew on my own shoestrings. That's how I feel. That's how it makes me feel. It makes me want to chew on shoestrings. And I got to actually say, the Tekken 8, Y'all want to hear a little more of the song or what? I see a couple people here. Right? What can you expect to see DOA content? I don't know, man. There ain't really nothing going on with DOA right now, my brother, if I'm being honest. There's nothing really to do with DOA 6 plus is great, but there's not a lot of variety of people to play. Everyone out in the game can be different, but. People want to just play original. And I just can't get behind that at all. I'd rather play Tekken 7. Though. If I'm being honest. Coco Cara Hajimata. All right. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself today. I really don't. Yeah, Tekken ranked is painful to me, man. Like, Tekken ranked, bro, Tekken 7, I swear, guys, I'm not capping, is one of the only games in the world, the only fighting games in the world, where you can just lose to somebody who's just being a hoe. Just straight hoeing. Not playing no fundamentals at all, just hoeing. Guys, who do I go on the rank with? Raven? Dragon off? Or I, th I think I want to go with Dragon off. I think I'm gonna get him up. Sergey Dragonov. Sergey Dragonov. Armor King, man, I dropped Armor King, bro. I can't get that wave dash on PC, so I've, I haven't practiced it a lot. But he's so like I'm not really in the business of trying to use a character that is not gonna be in the next one, especially like I know Armor King might be in the game. He ain't gonna come out when the game first comes out, you know. I think Dragon Ball is just too big enough to manage. Yeah, I don't I don't see Armor Armor King being a launch character in Tekken 8, so I'm just not even gonna bother with worry about him. Well, hi, so what up, bro? Jack is fun to his Miz get. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna lose to this guy over and over and over again. This is gonna piss me off, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm I might play him once and leave. I'm not my mental health is good right now, man. And he has the fucking bear uh, logo picture thing too, and that one. Yeah, this guy is, he's gonna, he's a hoe. I'm not fighting this guy again. Yeah, he's gonna piss me off. I can already fucking tell. Let me take that stupid fucking picture too. Yeah, I'm not fighting this guy again. I wanna quit right now, actually. I wanna quit right now, but I'm curious to see what this bitch is gonna do. Motherfucker. I'm about to leave, man. I don't wanna fuck. Look at his eye, bro. Like, look at his eye. He's gonna do this. Round one. Fight. Oh god. Oh my god, bro. Do special wake up here. Yeah, I got it. KO. Round three. Fight.
Hmm. You guys know what's unfortunate is that I parry that low. Getting Round parry. four. Literally fucking parry. Fight. Ah, he's got a string. I didn't know that was there. I've never seen that in my life, bro. I was like, he's gonna do a low to kill me. I just didn't know there was a string in there. <clears throat> I just didn't know there was a string attached. I had no idea there was a low right there. Yeah, it's just it's all it's all cheese, bro. Like, like, bro, no one uses these characters. So like, people go into rank match and they use these corny fucking characters, bro, because no one uses. This is the only reason why anyone will be inclined to use this character because they can keep it. Like, who the Round fuck knows that's a shit? Fight. Bro, what the hell was that? Bro, what the hell was that? Stop fucking doing that, bro. Ran up to the fucking hop kick. Bitch. Round two. Fight. I don't even know he had that. Step on your fucking head too. Round three. Shut up, dude. Fight. Ooh, you know he has a health speed. This character has a health speed. Found a lot of health speed. I tried to go for it. I'm like, he might press a button. Round four. <laughs> But I gotta start throwing this guy, bro. That's a low? Dude getting the rank match. Using bears, bro. Like, 
It's like, what do you think is going to happen, bro? You're going to win 80% of your fucking matches. That's not going to make me go to the lab and learn how to fight that character. Like, you're fucking corny as fuck. <clears throat> the fact that you're in this rank with that character is interesting. Like, that's how bad you are. Like, how are you in this rank <laughs> with a bear, bro, when nobody knows how to fight them? You should definitely be a god rank. My order to raise on Tekken 8? Yeah, sure. Yo, Phantom, what up, bro? Round one. Fight. <laughs> Like, I couldn't even do get, like, like, bro, I couldn't even do pickup combos to him. Every time I hit the bear with a wake-up kick, I couldn't even do anything because his character's fucking, like, the character's hurt box wouldn't allow me to combo him. I know you guys saw that shit, like. Like, I, bro, every combo I tried to get on this motherfucker, bro, I couldn't even do anything. Let me down to you. Do that shit again if you want to. Get a button right there. Oh, my controller, bro. I did down two. I would never do that right there. Man, bro, I did not do down four or two. Bro. God damn this fucking fight. <sighs> Bro, I'm not doing that! Why are you just doing that? <laughs> oh, this fucking controller, man. Oh, it's frustrating. Yo, what's going on, Lee Machine Man? How you doing, bro? Oh, yeah, this guy is a god, bro. Everybody, bro, everybody is so good at this game, bro. It's unbelievable, bro. Like, everybody, like, dude, everybody that plays this game is unbelievable. Good at I've never seen a Ginbu rank play like this in my life, bro. Ever. Like, I swear, dude, Tekken is the most interesting game on the planet, bro. Where you just got Ginbu motherfuckers just completely just sidestepping like a Tekken God Prime. This is the wow. only game like this on the planet, by the way. Fight. Where you have stuff like this happen. This guy's fuzzy ducking at Ginbu rank. Come on, bro. Go go play a different game, bro. I promise you. Like, brother, there's other games out. Jesus, bro. Go play something else, man. Like, oh my god. Like, bruh. <laughs> Unfucking believable. Like, <laughs> like, bro, I swear, bro. Like, this is the only game we have people that just don't like to play anything else, bro. This is the only game where people do not play other games. Round Tekken is the only game where people that play this game don't play stuff other games. Like, there's nothing else out there. I swear there's a, a library of stuff you can play. You don't have to play in Ginbu, bro. I promise you. Like, you can just play other stuff. Like, you don't have to just go and just play in Ginbu Rank for Hey Hutchie at fucking... At 107, brother. Like, there's other stuff out, man. I promise you, man. Like, people play this game religiously. You're gonna stop ducking. How is he doing that? How is he pressing a button after that? Round four. Yeah, I know, but that's the point, bro. That's the point. There's other games out. Like, this is the only game that people play religiously like this, bro. To the point where they're resetting their ranks and shit. Like, it's the only game. I swear it's the only game. Only one, bro. This guy is not a gimbal rank at all. Not a chance. Like, this is the only game that's like this. Only game. <laughs> 
only fucking game is like you're not gonna bump in this into any other fighting game where people just go down in ranks for no fucking reason bro. it's like please just play the game on your regular fucking account or play the game with your regular character bro. like you got 165 wins that's a lot of wins you know what i'm saying with this character there's no way that you are a Ginbu with 165 wins. Because I would not beat this guy with my Lars. I'm telling you, I would not. That makes no sense. The stats make no sense at all. I'm telling you. None. Like, bro, Ginbu players don't step like that. Do you understand that? That is not a Ginbu thing. This dude doesn't turn the fucking game off. Bro. I'm telling you. The guy doesn't turn the fucking video game off, ever. Look at the way he's stepping after my down two. Do you not see that? This guy doesn't stop fucking playing the game, ever. I guarantee it. Breaking all my fucking throws. No one plays like this at this rank. I hope you understand what the guy is doing. Motherfuckers don't have any other games to play in their Fight. Yo, Dylan, what up, brother? Oh, I didn't do that. That was a rage. Okay, he's gonna keep pressing buttons after that, but that's so all. Just take a chance to press the button right there. Bro, punish my quarter circle back too with an electric, bro. Really, 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 really punish my fucking back to an electric, bro. <laughs> you, bro, you punish my fucking quarter circle back to an electric. Like, brother doesn't turn the game off ever. I promise you. I promise you, he doesn't turn the game off. Ever in his life. Nah, bro, this dude is this dude is trolling. He's trolling. For sure. Nice. Yeah, bro. It's this guy. This guy is this guy is trolling. <laughs> this dude is trolling, bro. 100 percent this dude is fucking trolling. 100 fucking percent, bro. He's trolling. 100% trolling, bro. Like, my motherfuckers gotta find something better to do with your time, man. There's no telling how many fucking showers this guy's missed from sitting here playing this game this much. There's no telling. There's no, there's no telling how many showers this guy's missed, bro. Like, the shower's probably so dry, bro, that the fucking, the shit is just clogged up at this point. Because this guy wants to come and play at one in the morning with Heihachi, uh, punishing my poor back to an electric. <laughs> Round 
just want to fucking press all the buttons, bitch. Fuck out of here. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. You ain't that good. Get your fucking ass back to the lab, boy. Go level up, man. You got beat by Emory Rings and Tekken, man. You ain't that good, bro. You ain't that good, man. You lost to me? You lost to me? <laughs> boy, you ass. You definitely ass now. <laughs> you lost to me? You definitely ass now. You definitely ain't lose to me and be good at this game. I take back all that shit I said. That dude was ass. That dude was ass. Wow. What a Damn, bro. Like, y'all, I hope y'all understand that if you lose to me in this game, you're not good at it. That's what I'm saying. If Emery Reigns can beat you, because, God, this is the problem. You're not beating me in DOA. If you're not a top player or a very high-level player, you're not beating me. I'm going to 10-0 you. If you lose to Emery Reigns at all, at any point in the set, your ass. I don't care if it's one game. Your ass. You're not beating me in my game. If you're not a top, if you're not electrified man, or Killy, or Hoodless, or Quiggle, or Calibre Blades, top motherfuckers, you're getting clapped. You lose to me in this game, you're ass. <laughs> I don't care what character you're using. If you're punning, you're ass. But, booty cheeks. I'm just saying. I'm just saying now. Because you ain't going to get on DOA and beat me. You ain't gonna get on day away and beat me. I might get on here and beat you though. That's the problem. I might fuck around and get you again. We're talking about a game where you can beat somebody just because they don't know the knowledge. You don't have you can beat them with knowledge checks. You just getting clapped the fuck up. I'm even willing to go as far as saying if you lose two rounds to me, you're ass. I might push it to that. If you lose two rounds to Emory Range, you are ass. Okay. We need to bring the raven back. Yo, Hikari, what's up, bro? I got a headache. I have a massive headache. Bro, I got to get a new controller. This thing is done, though, bro. I'm getting down forward inputs, and I'm doing down now. Like, this is getting really bad. Yeah, this is getting really bad. I'm getting DF1s for no reason. Like, I was doing, like, down one, down forward one. Or, no, I was doing down two. I'm sorry. I was getting down twos, and I was, I was doing down twos, and I was getting other stuff, bro. Yo, Kyle Rawls, what up, man? Yeah, Hayate's my, um, Hayate's my main in DOA. I haven't played DOA in some time. What character am I fusion with? Lars, I think. I was rising, but somebody was beating the fuck out of me. I got demoted by somebody. I think it was like a armor. Oh, look, it's a Steve player, man. I hate this. Man really thinks he's Brian Fury. She just picked Brian, motherfucker. Round one. Yeah, it's custom. Up at four one you two. Definitely. Oh my fucking head. Yo, Khalil, what up, bro? I'm chilling, man. Who the fuck do you think you 
are you, motherfucking warrior? KO. Round three. Fight. Yeah. <laughs> Bitch. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Yo, Steve does a lot of damage, bro. This little motherfucker hurts. Fight. This guy's got big But this dude's a Tekken god, bro. Oh, I'm definitely getting pulled right now. For sure getting pulled. Definitely getting pulled. Yeah, why you got your fucking neck broke up? You get your fucking ass out of here trying to troll me, bitch! You Fuck you thought this was, boy. Try to come in with that bullshit. You thought I wasn't gonna beat your fucking ass? You thought I was gonna beat your fucking ass trying to come in my stream and troll me? Get your bitch ass out of here, boy. Bye. See ya. You tried it, motherfucker. Leave a follow. Follow the stream. Hit the follow button. Get your fucking ass out of here. Scrub ass fucking Steve. Alright, come in here with your big fucking combo and shit. Get your ass out of here. No! Bro, S8, I know you just saw that dude try to troll me, bro. Bro was acting like he didn't know how to play the game at first, and then started hitting me with knee combos, bro, and started throwing me into the wall and shit at Warrior Rank with 100,000 prowess. Man, bro, this is... I'm getting off after this, man. I'm getting off after this, bro. After this character, bro, I'm, I can't play... I, I, Brian always is the character that gets me off this game, so... I just don't think he should be allowed to play the game the way he does, but that's just my opinion. I think that this character's fucking busted. This character's busted, bro. This is the character that always gets me off the game. Do you win? No, no, no. No, no, no. Temple of Eternity. Because I was all you had. I keep on crying. I don't know how you can bring me to so many tears. I'll Round one. one. And you're on Wi Fi. Fight. I should have just did it. Something told me to do it as soon as he did that, but I thought maybe he would step. Plus frames right there. It sucks. So this is blocked. Four. Fight. Oh. 
Yo, Julius, what up, bro? Fight. You're not gonna hold me with the fucking. Bitch. You're not gonna. Hold me. He's trying to sneak as game. Yeah, he's trying to sneak as game. Bitch, you fucking bitch. Yeah, bitch, trying to sneak as me. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. Get back to the fucking lab with that bullshit, motherfucker. You're fucking. Oh, you're a bitch. Mm, he fucking had a five bar and tried to fucking run full screen and sneak at me, you little bitch. Oh, did you see that? Did you see him try to five bar Wi Fi full screen fucking sneak at me? Oh, I'm getting off of this game. You guys are fucking scumbags, man. Wow, bro. Really just tried to full screen run up and sneak edge me. You scumbag little bitch, man. In Wi-Fi, no shame at all, man. I'm getting off, guys. I'm tired, man. I like, bro, like, seriously, bro, like, this is the only game, man, where people are just straight hoes, man. Like, bro, he really tried to get off the floor, bro, like, he really tried to get... Yo, Monica, you coming in here, boy, or what? If you ain't getting on, let me know, man, because I'm going to get up off this shit. I don't see you on the thing. Because I don't see you on. I know. And I was all you had. I won't cry. All right, guys. I'm going to give you all a quick little preview to my new song. Just, just listen. When I tell you all I haven't even mixed, I haven't even mastered, the audio is all over the place. The lyrics are going to change. Let me give you a little bit of it. I know my boy S8 was trying to ask for it. It's, I don't know what it's called yet. The lyrics are subject to change. The name is subject to change. Yeah. It's not mixed. The audio is rough. Yeah, it's just stuff out. in there. It's a different vibe. It's like this little, yeah. yeah. Uh, see you in my dreams. See you when I'm up. I don't even know if she gives a fuck. Don't believe in love. I'm testing my luck. It's always a vibe, let's just see what's up I'll see you when I'm out, see you when I'm out you. See you when I'm out, see you when I'm out you. See you when I'm out you. Yeah See you when I'm out, see you when I'm out you. See you when I'm out, see you when I'm out you. See you when I'm out you. See me in your hood, see me when you're out and All your friends be asking what I'm about and You gave up on love, all you got is doubt But we've been here before, let's figure it out and Since the day we met, I feel like it's from the get-go If we fell in love, I don't know if I could let go And I don't know if you could see Just what you would need to me See you when I'm out, see you when I'm out Come on, that shit's a bop. I see you when I'm out. Yo, come on, y'all know y'all moving to that, yo. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still can't believe that I'm out here trying love again. You still can't believe I'm the one you're dreaming of again. We could take a chance, keep it tight just like a glove again. Things could fall apart and you don't feel you're enough again. Uh, let's take a chance and do some shit that we ain't never done. Get in the ring and play a game that we ain't never won. Some people say that love could get you killed, you better run. If I'm a fall for somebody, I couldn't pick a better one. See you when I'm out, see you when I'm out your way. I'll see you when I'm out your way. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll see you when I'm out your way. Yo, y'all hear that? Yo, this is you when I'm out your way. Alright, anyways, guys. Catch y'all later, man. See y'all on the next stream. Much love to y'all. I'm Audi Deuces. Have a good night. Stay blessed and stay loved and all that shit, man. See y'all soon. Deuces. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't even know what the song is about, but fuck it. Give it up. Yeah. Uh -huh. See you in my dreams, see you when I'm up. I don't even know if she gives a fuck. Don't believe in love, I'm testing my luck. It's always a vibe, let's just see what's up. I'll see you when I'm out, see you when I'm out, you see you when I'm out, see you when I'm out, you see when I'm out, see you 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 when I'm out, see since the day we met, I feel like it's from the get-go If we fell in love, I don't know if I could let go And I don't know if you could see Just what you would mean to me See you when I'm out, 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 see you